Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So the name of my channel is called The Crap Buy. I either buy good crap or bad crap. It's you to decide. So basically today we're gonna talk about like crappy people in crappy situations. So I talk about the different things. I talk about like crappy like experience or like crappy emotions or good crappy emotions, good crappy experience. It's all about crap, but it could be good crap or bad crap. So basically today, we're going to talk about self-esteem and it's very important i do this video because a lot of people i know like you know, like they like seem to be fine but everybody have problems and i think self-esteem is one of the biggest problems we have like right now in life we think we're not good enough we think we're not pretty enough we think we're not like like we're never gonna do our dreams and blah 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 so today we're gonna talk about how to get better self-esteem me growing up i didn't have good self-esteem and I felt like crap a lot. And I feel like I wasn't good enough. I feel I wasn't pretty enough. I can't even, I couldn't even pick up a guy because I felt so bad about myself, you know? But there's a root cause. The number one rule of self esteem is the people around you. If you surround yourself with crap, you're gonna feel like crap because the people around you that's crap are gonna make you feel like crap. You know, they're not going to make you feel good and surrounded and like that you, you're not going to know because it's like people are mirrors. If I say like, hi, how are you? And she's like, ugh, like I'm going to feel like crap. It's like, what would I say wrong? Like maybe I should be like, hello, like, how are you? And then she's going to be like, oh, hi. Like I need to change myself for this, for those people, you know, it's not good. So growing up, I was hanging out with like guys and it was fantastic. And like the guys made me feel good. I could, I do whatever I want. Like. I could like fart and they would laugh. I can just like make some joke, they would laugh. And then when I started hanging out with girls, like anything I would do would be wrong. I tried to be myself, I couldn't be myself. Like if I say something like, you know, like, oh, like I know this guy is very nice, let me talk to him. Like I'm gonna talk to you for you. No, 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 you cannot talk to him. Would you wanna talk to him? But I know him, I, I, I've been grown up with him. No, you cannot talk to him. And they put me like in a corner and it was like seven girls all drilled me because I wanted to talk to the guy. Like it made me feel like shit. Like it was like, wow, like I'm rejected and I'm not good enough. These people make you feel like crap. You know, people like I always have a issue with my hair and it was my friend had beautiful long hair. And I asked her like, like, I don't know what to do with my hair. You're fine. You're fine. Your hair's pretty. Like she didn't give a shit. If it would be me, I would say, okay, what's wrong with your hair? What did you feel is bad with your hair? The other girl, she said, like, your hair is so beautiful. It could be, like, in a magazine. I, I was, like, 14, and I never forgot what she said. It was so nice of her, you know, so nice of her. And, like, I remember, like, I felt better about myself. But the other one didn't give a crap. She didn't care, and I was, it was my friend. The other girl wasn't my friend. Like, you know, like, I was, like, why should I hang out with this girl instead? But, you know, she's older, whatever. It's just that people make you feel like crap. Like, I always have flat boobs, and then the girl, like, with big boobs, like, oh, my boobs are so big, me, 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 me. Like, don't you have sensitivity? Like, I feel like crap, because I don't have boobs, like, you know? I cannot, like, I'm 14, like, I'm not gonna go and get the breast implant at 14. You know, like, it just, like, I was surrounded by people that would never support me, and I feel like crap. And then, like, I started making better friends, and they were supporting me. Francois, you're so pretty. Why you feel ugly? Like, why you cannot pick up a guy? Like, it's so easy. You're so pretty and smart. That's why I needed to hear. Not like, oh, you like the guy? Let me get him instead. Like, you know, let me rub to your face that you cannot pick up a guy, and I'm gonna go with, out with him. Like, you know? It's just, like, people will make you feel like shit. And you have to like stop surrounding with people who make you feel like shit. You know, if you're around people and they constantly bring you down, constantly make you feel like shit, you can have a low self-esteem because it's your mirror. People are mirrors. So you, you have to surround yourself with good people. Even if it's like one friend to make you feel good, hang out with that one friend to make you feel good. Don't hang out with the 10 friend to make you feel like crap. I know you want to be popular, you want to have friends, you want to be well surrounded. You're not well surrounded. And people will judge you according to who you hang out with. That's another thing. I was hanging out with bitches. Everybody thought I was a bitch, but I'm not a bitch. But they were all bitches. Like, you know, they were all bad people. So they all gonna think like, oh yeah, she's a bitch too, you know? So it's very important to, to be well surrounded and be with people that reflects who you are, you know? Like have the same in, things in common. You know what I hated the most in high school? When people call me frambou. Like if you're watching this and you call me frambou, like, and you like feel shock, I hated it because we give nicknames to people we don't understand, but we accept. Oh, Frambou, 
which is so funny. <laughs> like, make me feel like a weirdo. Like, why are you calling me this name? It's not my name. It's not me. And then you give a, a name like Tipu, Tipu, Tigu, Timu, like super nicknames. And then like you feel like you're an alien. You feel like, okay, like I'm part of a group, but I'm just different. You want to be the same. And when you give nicknames to people, they like me make me feel like crap. If you watch this, you call me Frambu, please stop. I hate being called Frambu because like I was like, when I went to Yale Knife, I came back home and it was like, I was more serious. I grew. Like, you know, you know, like, you have to understand you're going to grow and you're going to get better. And I was better. And I was speaking better. I was saying better things. And then like, she was like, couldn't understand. Like, this is the Francis I know. And then uh, I, I, I almost spilled my wine. And she's like, oh, Frambu, I recognize you now. You're so goofy. Like, I feel like shit. I was like, this is what you think about me? that I'm goofy, that I'm always funny, goofy, like, stupid. Like, fuck you. Like, I was so pissed off. Like, you know, that's why I hate Frambu because people used to call me that because I'm funny. I have other qualities than being funny. Nobody, like, that I was hanging out with didn't know my other qualities. I'm smart. I'm, I'm go-getter. I'm uh, determined. Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm well-spoken. I have many, many qualities. And now I'm surrounding myself with people that actually knows my qualities and accept me for who I am. And I feel my self-confidence is better. Because if you, like, do a mistake and somebody, like, give you some, like, a positive criticism, you should have done this way. But there's a way to give positive criticism. You know, if you want to critique somebody, be really careful how you critique critic the person because it's another thing about self-esteem. Every time I was doing a mistake, there was a girl always telling me, you're going to do like this. No, 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 no. Give me that. I'm going to do it myself for you. Like, how am I supposed to feel? Like, shit. Like, I can do shit. And then I stop hanging out with those people and I hang out with people supporting me. And then I can, even if I make a mistake, they're like, it's okay. Try again. Okay, let me try again. Okay, you, you, you did good. You did better. Thank you. You know, it's, that's what you need. You need to surround yourself with positive people that likes you for who you are. Another thing with self-esteem is that you need to learn from your experience. If you, like, don't have self-esteem for, like, school. Well, in school, I didn't have any self-esteem because I always, like, did worse than everybody else. I felt. I did B+. Plus. It's good. Like B plus is actually 80%, 85%, but I always feel like, oh, well, this person is do A plus. Like I'm not good. Like I should have done A plus if this person do A plus. Like never compare yourself to others. Number two, never compare yourself to others because you don't know those people, what they did. Maybe they cheated. You don't know. Maybe they study for like 24 hours. You don't know. You don't know what they did. Like never compare yourself to others for anything. I used to compare myself to others, so my friend, that she was getting all the boyfriend and pick up all the guys. But I didn't know deep down what she was doing. You know, she was talking to them and she was talking about sex constantly and grabbing their genitals. I never did that. That's why I actually ended up with the guy. He should grab her pe his penis. He's going to be like, oh, attention. You know, I was like, I compare myself to her. It's like, wow, I cannot pick up guys. I'm shit. Like, I don't know what to say. Well, if I go talk to the guy, I don't grab his penis. It's used that his penis get grabbed all the time. Like, you're going to go, like, she, he's going to go with the girls grab his penis. Unless it's a really good guy that doesn't, like, like, thinks it's fucking crazy. Like, you know? That was fucking crazy. And then she does this kind of stuff, you know? So, <clears throat> it's very important to never compare to yourself to others because you don't know what he did. You don't know what he did true. You don't know what they experienced, but you can learn from them. What I do when I'm jealous or feel envious of somebody, I learn what they do. I learn their skills. I try to be better. I apply myself and I work hard to be better. Instead of like comparing yourself to the person and feel bad about yourself, I'm looking at persons like what the person is doing to get all this attention or what's this person doing to succeed so much in school. You ask the, the questions too and like the person doesn't want to give you the answers. Well, fuck you. And then like you just apply yourself in a different way, you know? But if the person wants to give you the answers, well, learn from the person. It's so important to learn from the person, you know? Number three, it's like your childhood, like your parenting. Don't ever think that you like your parents were not giving you the attention. Your parents were not there for you. Your brother was a piece of shit. Like, you know, your sister was a piece of shit. Don't ever like think that you're stuck with your family. Your family, you didn't choose them. It's blood. What does it mean? Like you're going to end up like them or whatever they're saying was true. Like 
when you're close to people, the closer you are, the more dick and asshole is going to be to you. You ever met this friend, like, was nice to you, and then, like, you start being close, 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 and then you become a dick, and make you feel bad, and abusive, and toxic? Stay away from toxicity. So, basically, your family, if they make you feel like crap constantly, never support you, stay away from them. But it's really hard, but just find a new family, in a way. Find your friends as your family. Your school as your family. Your work as your family. Like, you don't have to, to tolerate family things that is like it's negative you know like my brother like now we're okay but he used to be very mean to me you know but he used to tell me things that i didn't understand like the people i was hanging out was crap i didn't understand that he cared about me now i understand this you know go retrospective and and see why they were doing this to to you you know there's a way to t talk to somebody but my brother told me like i didn't thought you understand if i didn't yell at you i didn't thought you understand so he had a misconception about me, you know? I like to prove people wrong. Number five, prove people wrong. You know, if they call you names like friend boo, she's always goofy. I do acupuncture. You think I'm fucking goofy when I put a needle in somebody like, like pectoral? Like you think I'm goofy, I'm gonna be like, ah, I'm so goofy. Ah. I have to put needles on people's body constantly, everywhere. No, I'm not goofy, I prove them wrong. I'm like, that gives me self-esteem because I did stuff that makes me not goofy, made me professional. And I stay away from those people because they don't understand like who I am, why I would be friends with them, you know? But basically, I proved them wrong. I proved them wrong. Every single friend I had that was mean to me, I proved them wrong. Like, they were, and they got all shocked. They were like, Oh, Francoise can do stuff. Oh. You know, because I put myself in a box for them for so long. And then I, I when I, I was out of this situation, I like fly. I was flying. I was doing so much things, you know. So that's why, like, it's very important to, to, to like I said, like, prove them wrong. And, and, like, show them what you are and show them what your capacity is. And number six, it's very important to not take it personal. I have this bitch in high school. I don't know what I did to her, but every time I say hi to her, I, try, I was trying to say hi to people. I try to bring people together and say hi to people, make them feel good. And then she's always like, like look at me wrong. Like, I'm like, oh my God. I said like, I like your purse. Thank you. <laughs> the fuck I did wrong to you, bitch? Like, what the hell? You know? And then I was like in the restaurant, like working like for something and she saw me and she, well, don't take it personal. If somebody reacts this way, you have power over them. You're powerful because you make them react. If you come and somebody always insults you, you make them use their energy on you. Why are they using so much energy? I don't use my energy to insult people. I don't have the time for this crap. But they have the time for this crap. They have the time for you. So don't take it personal. I actually take it as a compliment. Now I take it as a compliment. She was jealous. She was jealous of me. She didn't like who I was. Because, like, what I'm supposed to do, like, just, like, shoot myself and die for you? To change everything I am? She, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I, I don't know what to do. So I just said, that, you know what? I'm going to rub it in your face. I'm going to be even better, more smiling, more popular, more happy than her. And then it just pissed her off. And one time a boyfriend tried to talk to me. I didn't do nothing. But her boyfriend talked to me. She grabbed him. She just go, oh, man. She wouldn't even talk to me. Like, you know, she's so freaking jealous and trapped by me. And I realized I have power. I'm actually very powerful. Like, holy crap, man. Those girls, like, go 360 for me. And I, I don't give a crap for them. Like, this is fantastic, you know? And then number seven, don't ever think that people that have, like, number seven, that people that have better self-esteem have better self-esteem. Like, you always look at other people like, oh, this person has so much good self-esteem about themselves. Like, I wish I could be like this. Don't ever think that because those people are probably fake. It's probably all an image. Like, you know, on like on, on Instagram, you see the airborne girls. I fucking hate airborne. And they're always like, oh my God, today I put the papaya on my face with airborne cream, the Red 9 product. Look at my face. <laughs> like, you know, they're all happy. They're always positive. Fucking fake. You think they're like nothing wrong happens to them? You know those people like with family and everything's perfect. They're always smiling. Look at the cat that's gonna jump. Come on, jump, jump. No, this like oh shit, he's gonna jump. Ah, yes. Oh, I caught it in life. 
You know those people, they always look perfect and they make you feel like crap because I, I have fucked up issues going on sometime in my life. Like I'm not perfect and they look so freaking perfect. And you always think like, oh my God, like I'm jealous because I wish I could be perfect like them. I wish I could have their life. My life is sucks. I will never be like them. No, they're fucking fake. You know, that's the thing. People with good self-esteem doesn't mean they have good self-esteem. I have good self-esteem for some stuff, but other stuff I don't. But I work on it. I'm around people that help me work on it. I talk to people. Therapy is very important. Number eight, go to therapy if you can. It's very important to talk about your issues to somebody. If you have nobody, go to therapy. Nothing wrong to go to therapy. It's $75 an, an hour. You can go for one hour once a month. You can afford it. Talk about it. Talk about your issues. Talk about what's going on and how you feel. <coughs> you know, me, it's like pick, up, pick up guys. I have a hard time. I feel I'm not good enough. I feel I'm print, not pretty enough. I always look at myself in mirrors. I always feel I'm ugly. Like, there's a reason we feel this way. You know, if I would, like, in high school, pick up every fucking guy, I could be the ugliest girl. I feel pretty because I pick up every fucking guy. But because I didn't pick up any, any guys, I feel I'm ugly. I wasn't good enough. Maybe they were intimidated by me. Maybe they were tread by me. Like, there's a reason why. Like, it doesn't mean that you didn't pick up a guy that you were ugly and, and, and a piece of shit. Sometimes when you're better than them, they don't want to approach you because they feel threat. So it's very important to go to therapy to make you realize things. Make you realize why people are treating you this way. Maybe you realize why people bullied you. Maybe you realize, like, there's always a reason why. So it's super important to, to talk about your issues and the way you feel. And that can uh, increase your self-esteem. Your self-esteem can get better and better and better. Lucky BB. Oh, the, I'm surrounded by cats. I have so many cats and the crazy cats lady. So that's why I did this YouTube channel because I want to help people and it helps me impress myself, talk about my issues and help people with my experience because I've been through a lot that they can learn from me. So follow the steps, you know, and if you have any questions, put it on the comment. Subscribe to my channel. Come on, man. Subscribe. Like, you know, I need a subscriber. Uh, if you want to put something negative, go to therapy instead of putting something negative. If you're a troll, like, you know, get out of your mother's basement and go somewhere else. Like, you know, go to the mall, do something, get your own apartment. If you want to be a troll, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to. I'm gonna troll you too, man. Like, cause I have no life. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna troll you until you, you die, and your dead bed. I'll still gonna be there trolling you. You know, put a positive comment, please. And that was my video on self-esteem. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time for the Quapa Bye.